Welcome to Crypto Hustle 101. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to a technical analysis technique that very few people know about and even fewer are willing to share. It's an improved way of finding trade targets and potential reversal points. It's really useful when an asset's going parabolic and you're not sure if you should hold on or ring the register and try to take profits. Let me give you a quick example of what I'm talking about and how it can be used before I break it down further. All right, so what we're doing, we're going to take a look at uh, DOT right now. But let's go back in time before it was a top 10 cryptocurrency. Replay. Let's go back to here. All right. We got that. Let's go ahead and zoom it in. All right. So right now what we're looking at is Polkadot back in December of 2020. Now, let's assume we've already done our fundamental analysis and it's a strong project to invest in. We've also found three or more technical reasons to enter a long position. So now the only thing left is try to find out, okay, where am I looking to try to take profits or potentially see a healthy retrace in price? Now, in order to do that, what you would do is you would go to the Fibonacci retracement tool, select that, all right? And we're going to have to make customizations to it, but I'll show you that later on in the video. And you go from this top point right here. All right, let's go to the top of the range. That should be eh, right about there and go to the bottom of the range right about there. All right. So now what we have is these lines here and these lines are chaos levels and see price is not gone here yet so there's nothing technically to go on to let us know okay we see support maybe possible resistance at any of these levels because we haven't gone through price discovery yet but once i hit play you'll see what happens and how it reacts as it goes th through its motions all right and once we get up to that 32 you'll see what happens All right, so let's go ahead and stop that right there and let's go over what's happened without it playing. All right, so now let's zoom in to see. If you look here at price, it's pretty much gone up to this 4.669. Come back down and test this level, then going up to the next level. It consolidates here before going up to this level, going past it, but then coming back down and checking it again. And I didn't draw it out far enough, but as you can see, it pretty much just oscillates back and forth between this level and this level before it just, and it won't get past here. Right here, it decided to reverse and come all the way back down, and it goes back down to the same levels. It's stopping there, right there, going up, checking it, coming down, back down to this level, coming back up to this level, oscillating back and forth before you're coming back down, and ultimately, reversing and doing it all over again at this level and even if we take the same tool and we do the same thing again we're going to go from the top of this range to the bottom of this range and let's see what happens seeing the same thing again goes up through hits the two consolidates up to the four back down up back down goes past comes back but it keeps on congregating right around this 4.669 all right and See what this did over here, I'm pretty sure that this level was going to be very important in the future, 63.27. So that's that. Let's go ahead and check this out on BTC. Alright, so if we take a look at Bitcoin here, before price starts to break out, we'll see that it's going up and down, oscillating back and forth between the high end of the range and the low end of the range. So if we take that same tool, the adjusted fib retracement tool, and go from the top end, right here to the bottom of the range right let's try to get it on right there you can see that all right we're seeing an inverse head and shoulders right here is the left shoulder head right shoulder and when it broke free 
this range right here, we're going to say our old high, 20,000 was right here. So really we had no idea where it was going to stop at, but with this tool, it pretty much gave you almost on the nose where the candle body stops at. Now, of course, you have FOMO here in these wicks, but it doesn't really go past this point right here. And then it comes back down to the same level, checks it again before breaking back up again. And if we use this tool one more good time and just go between this candle body high and this candle body low, what do you see? Price go up here, reverse back down before possibly going higher or coming back down to further lower price prediction. So hopefully you're starting to see how useful this can be in a crypto bull run where everything is going parabolic to all time highs every other minute. But to give credit to where I got this idea from, the actual was introduced to me by Brian Bemis at The Rational Investor. It doesn't really have an official name, but I call it the uh, Feigenbaum Chaos Extensions. That's spelled like so. Right, so what I'm going to do now is give you a brief history of where it came from. So in order to understand this, you got to start with the Mandelbrot set and this bifurcation diagram. Now, this is the Mandelbrot set, which is a mathematical representation of a fractal, which is a never-ending pattern. If you were to turn this uh, Mandelbrot set on the side, you get this bifurcation diagram here. I can show you a 3D representation in this clip right here. Alright, replay. See right here, it turns on the side and you get this diagram right here. So that's that. Let's go ahead and close that out. Okay, coming back over here to this bifurcation diagram. Mitchell Feigenbaum, a mathematical physicist, after studying this chaos diagram, discovered that the period doubling happens 4.669 times faster than the previous one. And simply put, what that means is that the time it takes to go from 2 to 4 happens 4.669 times faster than the time it takes to go from 1 to 2. And that process just keeps repeating all the way down, down through chaos. So, and this number 4.669, it occurs uh, consistently in mathematical and physical systems that have chaotic characteristics, like the crypto and stock markets. Okay, so to sum it all up, what you're able to do if you take that 4.669 bifurcation doubling concept and replace the fib retracement tool levels with these chaos levels, you can predict with a scary degree of accuracy future price reversal targets. Now let's go through how to modify the fib retracement tool with these chaos levels. If we go to the fib retracement tool over here, click it, and let's go inside of the settings. Inside of the settings, you don't have to use these colors, but you want to have your levels be 0, 1, 2.618, 4.669, 8.77, and 32.99. So once you have that set up, let's go ahead and close that out. Delete that. All right. So the easiest way to start using it, let's go ahead and make a quick example. Once you have bullish market structure, you get to this point. You want to take that same tool after you set it up and you want to frame the right side of the W starting at the top of the range and coming down to the bottom of the range. And that's going to give you this. Then what you'll notice is that um, as price goes, it'll go up to there and reverse back down. That's pretty much all you're trying to do. So that's how that goes. Let's go ahead and do some examples uh, before we get out of here. Let's take a look at Luna. All right, so in the interest of time, I've already pre-done the uh, extensions over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the first one. Okay, so as you can see, we drew uh, this extension off of this candle body high down to the lower end of the range on this candle body low. And with that, once it broke and confirmed past this level, it went up to the 2.618, thought about it, and then came back before going back up. <clears throat> now it's on its way to trying to get to the 4.669. And once it reaches there, it may come back down to oscillate. It may go up. 
but at least you have an idea of where you can th look to see if you see a potential reversal or maybe it might be looking to go higher. And it'd be a good idea, a tip is to go ahead and mark which time range you did this study off of because see if you go down to a daily time frame All right, you'll see that it's not as the exact same points, but it's still acting and reacting to these parts. So if say I now that was the weekly one, <clears throat> I go to a daily one and I draw off of these candle body highs and these candle body lows, you can actually go and see where all right, it came up two, thought about it, went up to four, thought again. Once it got to eight, it reversed back down to where? Four, thought about it, nope. I'm coming all the way back down to here and the process started over again. And now since this actually went back down past where you originally started and you're starting to see bullish mark structure here, like you can see the inverse head and shoulders right there. If you were to draw it again off of that candle body high and that candle body low, you can see right now, it went through the exact same process. Comes up all the way up, really blew past here, but stopped at eight. And it consolidated, consolidated, started oscillating, but always coming back down, back up, 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 and worked its way up to here and stopped there before reversing back down. So right now we're above the 16 and we're starting to think about going to 32. <clears throat> and also to be clear, once you get past these levels are pretty much have been tested a lot to 8.77 to 4.669 but these are like experimental they're still in testing but i've noticed that as i've used them they've been pretty accurate so i just go ahead and uh, give them to you guys now let's go ahead and as also to note this doesn't just work for crypto it actually works for the stocks too okay right here we got the uh, kathy woods arc etf pulled up if i go ahead and show you the extension I drew off of this top and this uh, lower end of the range right here we found as this price went through discovery it came back down check this level before going up stair stepping up and then retracing right here going back up testing it again retracing back down before blowing past it and going up and reversing off of the 4.669 here now you can draw more than one study off different levels like if you see here there's a W right here if we drew it off of there, we're going to see it's pretty close here, but it actually, you see confluence right here at this price level where it reversed. And once it reversed down here, now it just came back down to the 2.618 and it's consolidating in there. So, you know, as you begin to practice with this, you can find that you can just pretty much look for W's like right here, even though it's kind of dirty, a dirty W. You can go right here off of this top and this bottom, and guess what? Reverses off what? 4.669. So I'm going to end this video right here. Like I said earlier, this is just an introduction to the concept. If you're interested in understanding more about the math and science behind chaos theory and Feigenbaum's constant, I put some more in-depth video links in the description below. Also, the last time I checked, there's only one other video about this concept on YouTube. That's by RT at Heroes Labs. I will also leave that link in the description. So hopefully you've got something from this video, and I'll see you guys next time.